In this video, I will be sharing with you some information on how to treat amyloidosis. If you need information on the meaning of amyloidosis, the causes of amyloidosis, or the symptoms of amyloidosis, please, check out the videos in our channel. Now, before I mention the treatment options of amyloidosis, I would like to first give a general idea on the meaning of this health condition. Amyloidosis is any of a group of disparate conditions characterized by extracellular deposition of insoluble fibrils composed of misaggregated proteins. These proteins may accumulate locally, causing relatively few symptoms, or widely, which involves multiple organs, and then leading to severe multi-organ failure. Amyloidosis can be primary or be secondary to various infectious, inflammatory, or malignant conditions. Diagnosis is by biopsy of affected tissue, and the amyloidogenic protein is typed using a variety of immune histologic and biochemical techniques. Amyloid deposits are composed of small, insoluble fibrils that form beta-pleated sheets that can be identified by X-ray diffraction. In addition to the fibrillar amyloid protein, the deposits also contain serum amyloid peak component, and glycosaminoglycans. Amyloid fibrils are made of misfolded proteins that aggregate into oligomers and then fibrils. A number of normal, wild-type and mutant proteins are susceptible to such misfolding and aggregation, thus accounting for the wide variety of causes and types of amyloidosis. For amyloidosis to develop, in addition to production of amyloidogenic proteins, there is probably also a failure of the normal clearance mechanisms for such misfolded proteins. The amyloid deposits themselves are metabolically inert but interfere physically with organ structure and function. However, some prefibrillar oligomers of amyloidogenic proteins have direct cellular toxicity, an important component of disease pathogenesis. Amyloid deposits stain pink with hematoxylin and eosin, contain carbohydrate constituents that stain with periodic acid shift dye or with alcyon blue but most characteristically have apple green birefringence under polarized light microscopy after Congo red staining. On autopsy inspection, affected organs may appear waxy. How can amyloidosis be treated? There is no cure for amyloidosis. Therefore, your doctor will prescribe treatments to suppress the development of the amyloid forming protein and to manage your symptoms. If amyloidosis is related to another condition, then treatment will include targeting that underlying condition. Specific treatment depends on the type of amyloidosis you have, and the number of organs affected. I will mention some of them now. High-dose chemotherapy with stem cell transplant can help remove the substance that leads to amyloid formation in those with primary AL amyloidosis who have no more than two major organs damaged. Chemotherapy medicines alone are used to treat other patients with primary AL amyloidosis. Secondary AA amyloidosis is treated by controlling the underlying disorder, and with powerful anti-inflammatory medicines called steroids, which fight inflammation. Also, liver transplant may stop the disease in those with hereditary amyloidosis, while a kidney or heart transplant may also be recommended. I would like to also mention that other treatments to help with symptoms may involve the use of diuretic medicine to remove excess water from your body, while thickeners are added to fluids to prevent choking in those who have swelling of the tongue and compression stockings can also be used to relieve swelling in the legs or feet. Diet modifications is also a treatment option, especially for those with gastrointestinal amyloidosis. Amyloidosis can be deadly, especially if it affects your heart or kidneys. This is why early diagnosis and treatment is important and can help improve survival. Without treatment, many patients die within two years of diagnosis. Treatment depends on the type of amyloidosis that is present. Treatment with high-dose melphalan, a chemotherapy agent, followed by stem cell transplantation has showed promise in early studies and is recommended for stage 1 and 2 AL amyloidosis. However, only 20 to 25 percent of people are eligible for stem cell transplant. Chemotherapy and steroids, with melphalan plus dexamethasone, is mainstay treatment in AL people not eligible for transplant. 
In AA amyloidosis, the symptoms may improve if the underlying condition is treated, and epidosate has been shown to slow renal impairment by inhibiting polymerization of amyloid fibrils. In ATTR amyloidosis, liver transplant is a curative therapy because mutated transthyretin which forms amyloids is produced in the liver. For more information on this type of cancer, and all other cancer types, please visit www.ecancertips.com. Thanks for watching.